What's going on guys? Welcome back to Golden Sun. In the last part, we finally departed from Vale. And just a recap, uh, Jenna and Creighton were kidnapped. Okay, so they're gone. Um, the town was supposed to be destroyed, but it was saved by the floating eye thing. And it basically said, oh, you know what, Isaac and Garrett did this, let's just, you know, they're 14 years old, but let's just send them away on their own. And, um, well, you can't see their age here, but, uh, yeah, they were sent away. And this is where it actually, the game actually picks up, so, super excited, let's do it. What's this thing? What is that? Oh. So, crazy little monster thing, a traveling warrior. And I see you're an adept, too. You are just the kind of fire that I've been looking for. Oh boy, won't you please take me along with you? What does that mean? I am a Venus genie. My name is Flint. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. So this is one of the genie that we know, what we saw when the um, well when the volcano erupted, which is exactly what he just said. So there was no point in me actually saying this. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger and your adept skills will also improve. You can call us in battle or just use our power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? No, I don't think I want to. That sounds weird. Come on, I promise you won't regret it. Please take me with you. No, you're crazy. Please, I'll never let you down. Can't I go with... Fine. You weird brown Pikachu monster. Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus Ginny is now Isaac's ally. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. After bringing a Ginny into your party, you must set it to somebody. And this is, this is not me doing it. It's just him explaining how it works. To give your Ginny to someone else, move it like this. Oh, this is really complicated stuff right here. <laughs> Thanks for the tutorial, Flint. That's great. After choosing who will take the Ginny, you can set it. By pressing R. Or just doing that is also a thing. Setting a Ginny changes your attributes and maybe even your class. So if you, as you can see, uh, Garrett changes from a brute to a... Or from a guard to a brute. His HP and attack actually increase a bit of agility. Uh, and then he loses flair, but he gains growth. So it's a very, very big uh, change in everything, basically, the introduction of the Jin. When your class changes, the synergy you can use may also change. And there you go, that's... okay. Next I'll show you how you can use this in battle. That sounds great. Each genie has different powers. So this is Flint, obviously. Effective unleashing in battle, strike a blow that can cleave stone. So I believe it's just a very powerful attack. Once we're set, you can un unleash us to use our powers. So let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. Okay. Please do. I like how when, when you do tutorials, they're always like really slow. And for some reason he just, you know, um, he's an earth genie, so he goes really well with Isaac. We get to attack first. Now I don't get to do anything. It's just him showing what's happening. Sh choose this command to unleash me in battle, okay? Yeah, okay. Obviously, you know, your stats go down, but you do get a very powerful attack. That's all you have to do to unleash a set genie. And then Garrett defends. Boom. And there you go. See, when you unleashed me, I attacked with my mighty stone cleaver. After being unleashed, we genie will then stand by to be summoned. This is the uh, secondary use of the Ginny, or the Jin, whatever. If you have standby Jin, you can summon even greater powers. Well, let's uh, check it out. Elemental power of Earth, so you can summon Venus. For now, this is obviously the only thing we can really do, because we only have one Ginny, but... It's pretty cool. It's a lot, of, a lot of damage right there. See? We Jin can be very useful, can't we? And one more thing. And then, yeah, they actually need to recover. After Genie has been used to summon, it must spend time in recovery. And after we recover, we will set ourselves again and be ready to attack. So we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. This is the simplest way to use us. Did you get all that? Yeah, I got it. Please do not tell me again. 
Oh yeah, if you want to learn more about Jin, refer to the help, okay? That's right there, select. Is there even... Yep, there's a select thingy on the, uh, the Wii U. That's good. Okay, I'll join you now. Thank you very much. Please, use us Jin wisely. And then you get a little animation for all the Jin that join you, which is pretty cool. I also believe that they are unique for every element. And there you go, Venus Genie Flint joined Isaac. I do know for a fact that... Uh, set, please? Yep, let's do it. See, he doesn't actually change anything because he already is an Earth Adept. He just gets a bit stronger, which is good, I like that. And then also, I still want to be able to use uh, Garrett for uh, Fire Synergy. But uh, the thing with the Genie is... Or the Jin, I believe Genie is singular and then Genie... Ginny is singular, Jin is plural. I don't even know. There we go. Oh, really? That, okay. Boom, critical hit. Four experience. I guess they're a bit stronger than the ones we saw at the start. Um, also, I should really use these. Equip. There we go. So that actually gives us access to a new synergy, which is catch. Um, so what we might want to do while we're here anyway. What up, Ville? We're back from our journey. Just immediately. How much money do I have anyway? Almost 400 coins. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, what I've been trying to say for the last couple of minutes is that actually, Jin, uh, you will have to fight them. They don't don't just, you know, join you instantly the way we've just seen. They actually have to fight them. And then after, you know, you beat them, uh, you have to make sure they don't run away. And if you beat them, they will join you. But we will see that later on in the game. Now, this is what I wanted to come back for that nut over there and what you can do if I'm not mistaken is go like that and pick it up boom Isaac got a nut and I believe if memory serves well they restore 200 HP 200 HP indeed so there we go that's the uh, the tutorial and from now on we're basically free to go uh, wherever we please I'm just glad we could actually go back to Ville because, you know, obviously you always need a sort of a place you can go back to an inn and uh, heal up, buy some items maybe, I don't know. I usually never do that, but um, I suppose some people do like to do it. Let's actually see what they're selling here, uh, because they have short sword and short sword. But we should be able to buy from this gentleman a better weapon. Oh, nope, wait. Long sword, short sword, mace, and one stick. Uh, sometimes they actually have artifacts, and they can repair your stuff, which isn't broken at all, so it doesn't actually, it's not necessary at all. Um, let's see, short sword, oh, see, I can actually see who can equip it, like if I go with the mace, you can see it's terrible. When stick, it just says can't equip, so you can check that out before you actually make any choices. You can see the increase in damage, uh, that they will receive. Which is pretty good. I'll just buy this for uh, Garrett. Yep, there you go. Sure, buy my short sword because it's terrible anyway. And then I can buy a second one immediately for Isaac as well. Sure, let's do that. Game ticket. Uh, sure, just drop that on I uh, Garrett. And then this guy is the armor merchant. He's got really great hair. Artifacts, doesn't have any. Um, but that is worth checking out when you get to a new town. Uh, so what do you sell? Travel vet, one piece dress, well they can't equip that. Wooden shield would be a pretty substantial amount, um, of defense we would gain out of that for only 40 gold or coins, so I'll buy one for Garrett. Yep, there you go. Sure, you can have my gloves, and then I'll buy a leather cap for, um, Isaac. There we go. And maybe a travel vest would be good. It would sort of, you know, even out their defenses, so I'll go with that. Yep. 15 coins. Okay, you know what? I'll just buy another one immediately for Garrett. And there you go. 40 coins left. Let's see if we can buy any items with that. Maybe some herbs or an antidote. I don't even know. Um, herbs, antidotes. So, antidotes, I don't think I have any of those, but I'm pretty sure they're not really necessary, so I'll just buy two herb, three herbs for you. Thank for thank you for the game ticket. We will get into that later. They're actually not very relevant right now. And that's it. There goes all my money. Right? 
Yep, one coin left. It's not, not that great. Uh, two game tickets. Special game ticket for, from Tolby. Details. Number, I have two. So we have two game tickets. We can use them into town later. Uh, I believe that's sort of a raffle type thing. Uh, let's see. Synergy, you up. And there you go. So now we're actually set to go. I just really wanted to meet Flint before we went anywhere else. So this is the world map. And you will just run into stuff every now and then. You can obviously use your Ginny immediately if you'd like to do this, uh, if you'd like to do so. But what I don't really see the point there. Another herb, four coins. I don't know how expensive the inn is. Stay there, but it is always wise to you know gather. Oh, he was defending. Okay, it is always good to gather you know a bunch of coins, guns, uh, a bunch of experience in RPGs because usually. So this is our uh, first town after Ville. It's actually really close by. So let's go over there. Oh, look at that. We got some, uh... We got some carts. Wagons. We can't stay another minute in a dangerous place like this. We return to Calais immediately. Sweet mustache, that guy. So there you go. They, you know, are leaving the town as soon as we enter. But look, the bridge is broken. Master Hammett, this is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. Wait, the bridge... Oh boy, that's not good, is it? This is awful. How are we gonna get to Calais now? I don't, I don't know. Master Hemet, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fun as I am of Ivan, actually, as fun as I am of Ivan, it's his fault my rod was stolen, and his strange powers will aid him in search of the rod. Ivan has strange powers? Yeah. That was that nod. And look at that. What is that? What's that shadow? Boom! It's a giant thing falling from the sky. I don't even know what that was. It looked like an ice thing. We must leave this treacherous place immediately. But to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up in Lumpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good point. So they're going north, except... Uh, they were supposed to head south to uh, KLA, and they're now heading towards Lumpa, which, don't worry, we will, you know, find out more about this later. And we don't even know who the guy is. We were going to Vault. Strange name for a town, I know. Welcome to Vault, the town at the heart of Angara. Angara. I don't even know. Oh, look at that. This rock was blown here all the way from the volcano. It looks odd, doesn't it? It sparkles so much. It looks like a gym. Yes, it does. Bookcase, there's a history of vault, volume one. The book says the name comes from me, cooped up in tiny place. If only these rocks were gems, we'd be wealthy. Gems of Angara. It says nothing about the rock on the table. Well, that is useless then, isn't it? Didn't find anything. Didn't find anything. Maybe at the start of the game. Yeah, seven coins. It might be worth it to check this stuff, but usually you find little things that you don't really care about. Especially after, you know, you start gathering some money and supplies. You don't really need seven coins anymore. You know, it's not that big of a deal. Wasn't the eruption of Mount Elf incredible? No, it wasn't. Aren't you courageous? Not even an erupting volcano scares you. What up? Those travelers left in a big hurry. They looked like they were on the run. Did you see them coming in? Yeah, I did. No, not Master Hammett. It was a group of two women and four men. Wait a minute. Two women? and four men. I think we have seen them, obviously. They were quite strange. The young girl and the old man didn't look too happy to be there. Yeah, they were, you know, kidnapped and all that, so obviously they weren't too happy about that. A fiery rock burned a hole through the roof. Sheesh, it's always me who has to take care of these things. While you're just standing there, you're not actually contributing much of anything. Master Hammond's caravan left town as soon as the eruption stopped. I guess that volcano really shook him up. What about you? That poor guy, Ivan. They left him at the mayor's to look for the stolen rod. Who is this Ivan guy? 